So are you going to fail or are you going to succeed as an expat living in the Philippines? I don't know. I don't know you. But here are a few things that you need to be equipped with. Okay, so you come to the Philippines. You've been here on vacation. You've been with your Filipina. Everything is great. Everything's dandy. Whether you were here two weeks, a month. But you're going to be living here. Maybe for good. There's a, a lot of adjustment of your own thinking that has to be done. It's not the West. This is Southeast Asia. Quite different. Things run different here. And adjustments need to be made. Now, for example, the infrastructure is not as hot here as it is back home. Inf by infrastructure, I mean it could be the roads, the highways. It could be the electricity with the brownouts. It could be, don't forget not to drink the water, only bottled water, mineral water. Things like that. Now, those things are not deal breakers. Well, then, weren't for me anyway. Nor should they be for you. But you have to be mindful that things will be different here. Whether you're living in the province or in the city, whether you're in Mindanao, Luzon, Davao City, Cebu, Palawan, wherever, things will be different. And I suppose things will be different within different islands to perhaps a small degree. So you have to... It's silly saying you've got to be prepared because you don't know what you're being prepared for. But you have to be open-minded to the fact things will be different. Perhaps you go to a supermarket and the favourite brand of potato chips you buy, example, Lay's, they're out of stock or they haven't got the flavour you like. And you hunt around town, especially if you're in the province, and nobody has that. A good example is I like McCormick American French, well, it's American made French mustard. Now where I go shopping, they always had it, they suddenly don't. There used to be a few smaller places that had it, they don't have it. I could buy it online, but, ah, sorry, there's a wasp I could buy it online but what for mustard hopefully the new shopping mall that opens will have it the shopping mall opens today if not when I get my um, visitors re uh, visitors uh, visa renewed this Thursday I can go to the big shopping mall there but little things like that can get on your nerves they're not big things. So I wouldn't let these things get on top of you. The insects can get on your nerves. The humidity. Things are not perfect in the Philippines. I've done videos, five reasons they are, five reasons they're not. There's probably a hundred reasons they're not. And perhaps a thousand reasons they are. I could give you two million reasons why things are no good in the UK. Well, perhaps not two million, but you know what I mean. You can paint a picture of the Philippines, because that's what we're talking about. We're not talking about Thailand or anywhere else. And you can paint the picture of it. it's wonderful. Everything is beautiful. It sun shines every day. Well, it doesn't, because you have the rainy season. And what I mean by that is... It's not perfect, and you shouldn't come here with your eyes wide closed and think it is perfect. It's life. Life ain't perfect. It never will be. There will be challenges, but they should be small ch uh, challenges. 
So will you fail or will you succeed? I'll tell you how you're gonna fail for sure. And I keep banging on this drum. If you come here without enough finances for your budget each month, you will fail. If you come here with a really bad attitude, you will fail. If you come here and you're drunk, you will fail. And more than likely, that's probably why you failed back home. But there's a multitude of reasons why you will succeed. You're financially secure, don't have to be a millionaire. You will get pissed off some days. Some days, some days you'll get fed up being here and you think, I wish I could go home. I do sometimes, and then I think of home. I think of my home country. I think, what country? That was a shithole. 30 years ago, no it wasn't. 40 years ago, no it wasn't. It is a shithole, a third world shithole run by third world shithole politicians. That's not my country. This is my country, the Philippines. I have no allegiance to the United Kingdom nor to the West any longer. It is unrecognisable. It's gone. It would take multiple revolutions in many countries to even bring back anything remotely of what was. And that won't happen. It would take another world war, not a nuclear one because we're all wiped out. It probably would take another world war to wipe clean all the garbage. But that's not my home. So the fed up feeling soon passes. And I'm fine, I'm okay. You make do with the harder things here. They don't have my brand, my UK brand of potato chips that I liked. So I use, I buy the American brand, which I never bought before, which is more or less the same. I've made do. If I really want, I can buy it online. So it's not like you've got a, a really big mountain to climb. Now, if you're a foreigner, if you're a Westerner, and it is a big mountain, it becomes a big mountain for you to climb living here. You can't take the weather. You can't take the humidity. You hate the food completely. You hate everything then you will fail and perhaps it just wasn't for you you know there's nothing bad in failing if you failed legitimately not if you've come here with no money you deserve to fail and you should never have come here but if it, you find out it just is not for you in the long run then fair dues you know provided you've not got married and you you've got children here and you run away from your responsibilities. If that's not the case, then fair dues, it wasn't for you. You tried your best. It's not for everyone. Living in America isn't for everyone. Living in Europe isn't for everyone. So in terms of the percentage, what do I, in my, in my opinion, give the percentage for failing. I have no clue. Nor do I have any clue what the percentage is to succeed. Because it's down to you. Every damn thing has been down to you. The Filipina you choose or have chosen is down to you. Your finances and being able to live from month to month reasonably well is down to you. Your, your open-mindedness and change of attitude and carrying no airs and graces, ultimately are down to you. Think about it this way, let me use an analogy. It's a really hot day in the Philippines. Humidity is particularly high. 
and you're going to town, wherever that is to do shopping. You put your deodorant on, you've had a nice shower, clean clothes, you're fresh. And say an hour later, you're sweating buckets, you feel uncomfortable. But you don't terminate going shopping. You know you've got the choice to have a shower when you get back home. It's not the end of the world. I'm sure that's happened in your home country on a hot, hot summer's day. You know, you can't let it get to you. I had a shower. I was fresh an hour ago. Look at me now. You get on with it. And that's what you need to do in a broader sense. You know, you can get Coca-Cola everywhere here. Pepsi-Cola, Sprite. You can't get Dr. Pepper. I think you can get Fanta. Not here, I've not seen it, but you can. So there are familiar things here. You can get Heinz tomato ketchup, even in the provinces. If you look, you will find. And if you look within yourself and accept this is not the West, the things you are familiar with, you will find you will succeed. And isn't that half the fun? That it's not the West. Listen, we're lucky. We have the internet. It's not 40, 50 years ago where if you came here, you're buggered. You're damned if you couldn't find what you wanted to eat. You can go online and get it. If you, if you live in the big cities near a Costco, they perhaps have these things. If you live in the province, I'm fortunate. My province isn't one of those second-class provinces. It's better than that but it still doesn't have what a major city would have in terms of products. And when they run out, another silly example. I like Magnum ice lollies. And I like the chocolate Lux Deluxe. They've never damn well got them. They've always got the classic or the almond. And I've quizzed them. Why? I've queried it. Well, because they're popular. Well, surely the chocolate one, the deluxe one, is popular. That's why it went. I know I bought maybe 20 of them. But it is what it is. You get used to it. You might not like everything here. The ice cream here is too sweet. But you get used to it. Cornettos. We have Cornettos in the UK. They're different. The Cornettos in the UK, the ice cream isn't quite as sweet. And if you have chocolate flavour, it tastes like chocolate. If you have vanilla, it's vanilla. If you have strawberry, it tastes like strawberry. Well, when you get something similar here in the Cornettos, it's just sweet. The chocolate is very, very mild. The strawberry is very, very mild. But just that sweet taste of everything. So it all tastes the same. But that's not a deal breaker. I'm not going to turn around and say, duh. The ice cream's not much, not as good, let's say as I've had back in the West. And don't forget, I've only tried a small portion of ice cream. I'm sure you have a better variety in the bigger towns. Sometimes I fall in the trap and think the Philippines is my small little province I live in. And then I have to remind myself, of course it's not. My province probably bears little resemblance to Manila or to Angeles City. London wasn't the same as living in Scotland. So will you fail or will you succeed? That's down to you and it's down to me as well. I've been here just over a year and a half. I can't say for sure I've succeeded. Who knows what could happen? Nobody can put in stone that they've succeeded. Like an alcoholic that goes clean, it's a day-to-day -day thing. All I can say from my perspective is, on a day-to-day -day basis, I've had far more better days <clears throat> than not so good days. 
I don't have any urge to go back. Go back to where? I'm happy here. I found my life here. And that's what you should be aiming for. Don't worry about little things, because there'd be many little things. And individually they are just little things. If they become big things for you, then go, it's not for you. You're doing yourself a disservice, and perhaps the Filipina you're with a disservice. Go. I don't mean go at the first sign of any problems. You know, try your best, your hardest. And if that's not enough, do what you must do. But there are many here that have succeeded, many. And I am sure there are many that have not. Doesn't make those that didn't lesser people. I'm sure there were some that were lesser people, but it doesn't make the majority of those that couldn't hack it lesser people. We're different. Some people love going camping. I didn't, I hated that. We're different. Some people like English mustard. Some people hate it. We're different. Some people like milk chocolate. Some people like dark chocolate. We're different. Some people like beer. Some people prefer Coca-Cola. We're different. So I understand that. So don't, I was gonna say, don't be afraid of coming here. Give it your best shot, and that should be enough. If you're genuine about wanting to change your life for the good, come to the Philippines. Perfect, the Philippines is not. Perhaps if you go and live on the moon or Mars, it's perfect. I can't tell you that. You'll have to find that out for yourself. But living here is damn well more perfect than living where I was living in the UK. And I'm happy with my lot here. I chose Mindanao, not everyone's choice. I chose a part of Mindanao, certainly not everyone else's choice. I chose a province, not everybody else's choice. I don't come from the countryside in the UK. I come from the city, but I love it. That's all.